So now that we have the canvas size the right size, what we need to do is to put in a floor and some walls. So I'm going to go over here to shapes and I'm going to choose a trapezoid. And I'm going to make a trapezoid along the bottom to create the floor. And I don't want it to be too big of a floor. And if you grab this yellow diamond here, you can actually pull it in so you can give more depth here to the walls. Now this is my floor, my carpet, so what color do you want it? I'm feeling sassy today, so I'm going to choose red. And I want to take the lines off, so I'm going to go to the pencil and make it transparent so I have just the floor like that. So now I need to make the walls, and I think the tool to do that is also the trapezoid tool. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a really long trapezoid. And what I need to do is I need to rotate this. So you'll notice the rotation handle. Hold down the shift key. Hold down the shift key while you rotate so it does it. It'll be perfectly perpendicular. And I'm going to move this over here. And then what I want to do is I'm going to hold down. Uh, I'm on a Mac, so I'm doing Command, Shift, and the down arrow. And it brings it, sends it to the back of the, the order to the back. If you're on a PC, be control shift in the down arrow, or you can right click and choose order and send it to the back, which of course you can see on here that it gives you the keyboard shortcut for that. Now what I need is for the edge of this trapezoid to line up with the corner of my floor, so I'll just drag that over a little bit. I'm not real wild about my walls being blue, so I'm going to change that, get the paint can, change it to yellow. I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to right click, rotate, and I'm going to flip it horizontally so I can bring it over here. And I have the other wall. And Command Shift down arrow to send that to the back. And that gives me walls and the floor. I'm going to take the borders off of the walls too. So line pencil. So then the other directions were to have a door and like a little viewing window thing. So I'm going to go ahead and make a door and uh, rounded corner sounds good. So I'm going to do a rounded rectangle. I'm just going to place, place a door right on here and I'm going to make it a little bit longer so it hits the floor and change it to maybe a brown door. And I'm going to again send that to the back. Command shift down so that it runs into the floor. And I think I'd like to have a doorknob, so I'm going to go ahead and make a little... And I'm holding down the shift key when I make my circle, because you'll notice that it makes a perfect circle when I hold down shift. And I don't know, I guess a gray doorknob would be good. So I have a doorknob, and then I just need like a little computer screen for Yoki. So I'll do that also with rounded shape, a rounded rectangle. Hold down the shift key to make it perfectly square. So this is where I'm going to have Yoki show up, is right there. So now that gives me room A, and I just need to file, download as. I'm going to download it as a PNG image. That's very important. That's what we need for Game Salad. So I'm going to download that. And it shows that I'm going to show this in the Finder because I actually need to rename this. I'm going to call this room a.png so I can now put that into game salad.